Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome to Figure Fantasy. So I made it right. Uh, welcome to the new year. Uh, soon it's going to be the Chinese New Year, of course. So we're here. We're having a you know two banners. One is with Diao Chan. The other one I'll do another video after this one. So is she worth summoning? Let's take a look at her kit and see if we can recommend you guys summoning for her okay so this is again the japanese version of uh of uh the game this is their website i'm gonna put a link in the description for those who want to reference this i'm just gonna review this for the benefit of everyone and what are her strengths what are her weaknesses and let's get a move on it okay so five ev evaluation by content um I'm just going to be concentrating on PvE and PvP. So she is going to be strong in PvE. PvP, not that much. So as you can see, her rating is here. For PvE, she's going to be a 5. So she's going to help you clear content. Uh, especially for Galatea, if you need um, more... Um, She's, she, she's going to have buffs, guys. That's my clue for her kit. So let's move on to her skill. And let's see what she does. Okay, so attack skill. So she's a specialist. Her range is 6. Attack speed is average or common. Uh, the usual in, increased normal attack damage by 25 and 25. So that's a 50. Once you upgrade her... Uh, this is going to be her ultimate skill. Initial energy is going to be 50. So she's right there in the middle. Um, and uh, the effect is after dealing damage to the current target, uh, Diu, uh, Diu Chan owns attack speed is increased by 57% for 5 seconds. This uh, particularly is going to be good in bosses. Okay, so attack speed is, is actually very good. Level up effect deals additional damage to the marked target once. Again, she's going to be good for bosses, for PvE bosses. Grants attack speed uh, enhancement to all allies in the same horizontal row as yourself. So its effectiveness is reduced to 43%. Basically, what they're saying is in the same row, if you have other, if you have, for example, another um a uh, militarist at your back then she could um, grant uh, attack speed to that uh, figure so passive skill gives a mark to the target at the start of the combat and during your normal attack when the marked target takes 10 basic attack this is more or less coming from her the marked damage explodes and deals additional damage to the target so it's like a timer so just have to attack and attack explode then probably have start of the combat during your normal attack okay i'm not sure if this mark is going to be just once or if the if the mark is um gone will there be another mark I'm not sure about that but it's gonna be good if that is the case but when it explodes and deals additional damage to the target, its level of effect is 25% chance to move the to move the mark to a nearby target when the mark explodes. Unfortunately, 25% is very low. Hopefully, they could have put around 50%. Uh, so again, I'm not sure about this one. Increase explosive damage by 50% and converts to burning damage. Increases damage by 50 cards to burning damage. Okay, she also has kind of a little bit of a burn here. Okay, so specialized skills. So this is her last skill. Increase damage dealt to normal attack targets by 12%. Level up effect. Increases attack by 5, attack speed by 10, and damage dealt uh, to normal attack targets by 18%. So clearly her, her kit would involve you investing in attack speed. Uh, also, because again, the more she attacks, the more she can do explosions. Okay, so that's that is how she's going to be used. So my take on her, she's going to be Galatea. 
if you're looking for for a militarist for Galitea, I think she's gonna be good. Um, we don't have good, you know, good militarists for Galitea that stand out. Probably she 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 would be it, but definitely she'll be limited to your PVE content. Um, at this point, she is actually rated. She's actually rated in kind of not a top tier. Kind, I think she's rated at B tier. So again, there could be other or better militarists above her for Galitea. So it depends upon you guys. Um, at this point, if you don't have the previous militarists for Galitea, I would suggest you pull for her because she's your she's your good shot at getting a militarist. I think we just had two. Uh, militarist for Galitea. So, again, she's not on the top. She could be your secondary uh, militarist. But, I'm uh, sorry, she's not a militarist. I forgot. She's a specialist. Okay. Um, anyway, um, for them as a specialist, I don't think they have much. So, she's going to be a good addition and she's going to buff your militarists. That is what I was going to say. That is my take on her. Um, she could be a good addition to your team. So these are the recommended formation that she can synergize well. So soon, uh, soon is also going to be out. So possesses the penetrating attack that ignores defense. You can acquire energy when passive skill are activated. So both of them can be played together. Um, I assume that she is going to be good with Lubu as well. And the other two. There, there were other two militarists that came out, forgot their names. But again, um, she is going to be paired with a militarist when she comes out. As you can see here, um, fast attack set is needed and a critical set. So that is it, guys. Um, what do you think of her and are you going to be pulling for her? So comment down and let me hear your thoughts. So... Thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here. Glad to be back.